I'm John DeMond for the SolarWire Network. Halifax University professor and educational consultant Paul Bennett saw a familiar face when he went to the movie theater the other day. Brendan Fraser, who has just been nominated for an Academy Award for his role in The Whale. Paul taught the former star of The Mummy when they both walked the halls of Upper Canada College in Toronto. Thanks for joining us today, Paul. Good to be with you, John. For context sake, tell us just a little bit about uh, Upper Canada College. Upper Canada College is Canada's biggest boys boarding school and day school, uh, situated at Avenue Road in St. Clair in downtown Toronto. And it's uh, a school that has a quite a, a, an honored tradition of producing some of Canada's best known Can uh, Canadians who've distinguished themselves in a variety of different fields. And um, I guess if you're looking at, it's the epitome of an elite um, private school in the country. Yeah, who, who would some of his uh, some of his classmates have been that year, if you recall? Um, it's hard to recall because uh, yeah. I met Brendan Fraser when he walked into my grade nine history class uh, in uh, 1982, 83. And I was a brand new teacher myself. I would happen to be head wow. of the history department, but I was a bit shaky myself. And uh, he was thrust into an environment um, with some very, um, I would say, academically uh, talented students. And he was a very average student and he struggled throughout his years. Uh, and he came to my attention because I saw him struggling in my class. Yeah, yeah. And that was Canadian history or a sort of global history? I taught him uh, grade nine Canadian history and I really came to know him through a model parliament simulation that we had. Oh, wow. And he approached me after class and he looked very worried because I'd said, you have to choose a political party and you yeah. have to actually run for election and you have to be participating. Wow. In it. And he said, I, I just know nothing about Canadian politics. I don't know a thing. I, yeah. So I quizzed him on his political views yeah. and I quickly said, and I remember this, uh, yeah. just like it was yesterday. I said, <laughs> you look to me like a liberal, most likely a backbencher. He was very, <laughs> shaky. very shaky, and he, uh, like most fourteen-year-olds, yeah. you know, he was awkward, and uh, he was tall, yeah. and those eyes that you see in the whale, those yeah. are his eyes. Those they are his eyes. Same. They have yeah. not changed. Did you get a sense of greatness? Not at all. Impending greatness at that point. No, not at all. There was no yeah. hint whatsoever. In fact, um, Brendan was a boarder living in one of the two boarding houses. And as one of the boarders, they weren't strong students as a rule. And uh, they gravitated to uh, things that happened on the weekends, like Little Theater, which is where he first uh, tested his, his abilities on the stage and came to know the young actors. It was actually at the, UC, at, the, at the UCC Little Theater Company. It's nowhere on Wikipedia. And it's not mentioned in any of his biographies. How interesting. Did you go to any of those performances? Yes, I did. Yeah. I would go annually to the performances. And uh, he starred in West Side Story in wow. 1987. But I was surprised because to me, in my class, he was, um, I, I would say, a struggling student. And he was um, tried to fit in. Yeah. He came back to uh, UCC in... Uh, 1992 for his fifth year reunion. He was interviewed by CBC and I watched it again just to refresh my memory. And that was him uh, still amazed that he'd been successful. Wow. Become a Hollywood star and starred in a school and school ties, which is yes. situated in a, uh, a boarding school. Isn't that interesting? Did you see, did you, have you seen that show? Oh, I've seen them all. Yeah. And if you do oh, see, do you see sort of elements of uh, UCC in that show at all? Or just do you see the same young man in, uh, in you, you knew in UCC in that, in that role? Not at all. He was, yeah. um, would never have starred as the quarterback of the St. Andrews team in I, school uh, ties. He would never have been, um, at, you know, at the one that everyone looked up to. Uh, he would, nor would he be uh, the uh, a, a character that, uh, you know, others were in the, there were some very, very big actors in that. He was a star. And uh, as a result of 
in that movie. He was anything yeah. but a star in high school. How interesting. Would you describe him as shy? Very shy, very um, lacking confidence and lacking confidence. And he was far away from home. Right. Where was home, Paul? Where was uh, Seattle at the time that I oh. knew him? Yeah. But he lived in five different places over the course of his lifetime. Yeah. His father is was a diplomat. And um, when he was at UCC, his father, I think, worked for the uh, Canadian um, tr uh, Tourism Agency. But he was actually a diplomat. That explains why uh, Brendan and his brother, Regan, who I'll talk about in a minute. That's the interesting twist here. Huh? Is his brother, Regan, who has been in the news because he sold his story to National Enquirer. Really? Wow. You taught him as well? His brother was our one of our lead prefects. Mm -hmm. And he was editor of the College Times, which is Canada's <laughs> best-known student newspaper. Started um, as yeah. you may as by John Ross, John Ross Robertson, right. Robert and Davies was the editor, right. and many many others have been successful editors of the College yeah. Times. Um, and um, Reagan was editor of the College Times, but he fell on hard luck, <laughs> and uh, was destitute, and he mm -hmm. tried to approach Brendan, <laughs> and Brendan brushed him off, and he sold his story to the. The National Enquirer about how Brendan was not really receptive to him. Really? If you look up Reagan, um, R E G A N, yeah. um, Fraser, he's a taxi cab driver in Vancouver right now. But it sounded like at, back in the day, he was the one who was of the of the Fraser boys was more likely to be a notable oh, later in life. I remember my first um, day uh, walking yeah. into. Uh, Upper Canada College, shaky and nervous as a very yeah. young teacher. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I, I met uh, Reagan, and he was one of the most highly regarded, an uh, erudite, and um, a, a, a classically trained He's student. Trained. So to hear that he went in the other direction was a complete shock to me. Wow, isn't that fascinating? Uh, that seems deserving of a book or a film, maybe to come, I suppose. When did it first become apparent to you? When did you first learn that Brendan was an actor? And not only that, a notable actor. Do you remember the movie or when it's um, on your radar? Colin Lowndes was his director of the uh, uh, little theater company at, at UCC. And he reminded me that he was in West Side Story and he was beginning to develop confidence. Yes. So we saw a glimmer of that. And Colin told me that he saw a hint of what the potential was, but I don't think any of us did. Yeah. Brendan was clearly intending to be accepted and to fit in at UCC. And he wasn't a strong student. He very weak in math. Yeah. And it wasn't until later. And he went back to Seattle and went to Cornish um, School for the Arts, where he That's learned true. acting. But it all started at the um, Little Theatre at Upper Canada College which he doesn't really acknowledge publicly. You probably noticed he right. talks about being raised in, um, but he doesn't really talk much about yeah. having gone to Upper Canada College. Well, what do you make of that? Were these, were these, were these, you know, memories that he just liked to forget? Do these were the hard teenage years or? It's not uncommon from yeah. uh, graduates of Upper Canada College. They find as life goes on that it's not the asset that they right. thought it was going to be. And as times change and people's attitudes towards elite schools, hardened. Uh, yeah. It's no longer something that people will openly talk about. So what you find is everywhere you'll find graduates of schools like that, but they don't often uh, highlight it. They don't make much of it. They let their successes or their uh, screw ups speak for themselves. As you have followed his career, which I'm sure you have, I mean, what has your reaction been? Surprise, disbelief? I've watched his interviews and he seems to be in a state of disbelief Yeah, and he's fairly honest. Um, I, he makes statements like the, I'm, I'm uh, part of a company and I had some good luck and good fortune. And I think yeah. that's true. And he's uh, remarkably self-effacing mm -hmm. um, even for a Hollywood actor, but there are vulnerabilities, which yeah. if you watch the whale, you'll see in abundance, the yeah. vulnerabilities, the sensitivities. And I saw him, uh, you know, in my class, you meet him every every single day for a whole year. You right. really get to know, and there are only 23 in my class. 
So you really get to know them, and especially those that are struggling academically, which he was. And um, he was, um, he had to drop math, for example. And we know all of these things now because we've gone back. I, um, I did see him uh, in uh, 1992. Um, would you like me to talk about an incident? Please. Yes, I mean, please, yeah. That was a fascinating incident. Uh, YTV, uh, Youth Television Network in Ontario, was doing a feature on Brendan Fraser. He came back to the school. He also did a feature um, which made the CBC the national. It was Brendan Fraser comes back to Canada. Yeah. It was just after the success of School Ties and he was really high in high demand. Yeah. So what was interesting was uh, he was walking around and he said, oh, there's my history teacher, Mr. Bennett. Yeah. And I said, do you remember the model parliament? And he said, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> he was certainly, uh, it was a performance that he wasn't prepared for. Which right. is kind of play like you're a member of parliament and make speeches. And this wasn't yeah. his thing. That's for he, he did not stand out. Oh, not at all. No, he hid in the back and he was, you know, he was crowding the back of the room. Wow. He was all out to fit in, like yeah. an average teenager. That's yeah. how I describe him. Yeah. Yeah. Those vulnerabilities that you mentioned, by all accounts, have continued to this day. He's had some, you know, there's, there's talk that he has had you know, some personal, personal troubles and uh, including, you know, allegations of a sexual assault by a studio head and he's had some injuries from the mummy and, you know, life has been sort of hard. So, but yet the whale, you know, it's been hugely, it's lauded everywhere and it's, uh, this performance is supposed to, you know, is, is obviously worthy of a, of an Academy Award. The comeback aspect to it as his former teacher, that must make you a good feel, give you a good feeling that that he's that he's that he is bouncing back and he is he's putting his world together. More than that, I mean, he's a big he's a star again. Uh, fame is fleeting, and mm -hmm. I can't help but wonder if we've heard the last of this. His turmoil, his trauma. Mm -hmm. You can't see that movie without seeing a bit of Brendan in it, and uh, mm -hmm. I do. I mm -hmm. I realize he's acting but the truth of the matter is his life has been um full of a lot of torment yeah. uh, separation uh he's had his own battles with depression yeah. and i kept thinking i don't know whether this is some kind of allegory whether it's something approximating his life i was yeah. stunned by the emphasis on um herman, herman melville's uh um, Moby Dick, because he would have been taught that. It was on the curriculum. Yeah. Is that right? How and interesting. He, he definitely was taught that. <laughs> and he he clearly knew it and spoke with conviction on that in the production. Yeah. So it's not something he wasn't familiar with. As a teacher and as an educator, I, I'm assuming it must give you a great feeling to all this, the, the stuff you just mentioned aside, to see the success of former students? There are very few rewards in education other than uh, looking at the success of students you've taught over the years. And in my case, there's just so many, uh, and of fond memories, many, many students have gone on to do very well and many have kept in touch with me. And now Brendan uh, is a fleeting experience. He's one of thousands of students, but he stands out because he struggled, he needed help and uh, I think he found a community at Upper Canada College when he was uh, far away from home. Mm -hmm. And uh, he spent five years in boarding. And I think it shows there's some vulnerabilities. There's a desire to be accepted. I don't think you've heard the last of some of his challenges either. Mm -hmm. I was, I, there, I'm of two minds about the movie. I, I, was, I was absolutely uh, uh, smacked by the impact, the emotional impact like everybody else. But I, I came away a little worried because I looked in his eyes and I thought, oh, no, I don't think the story's over. And uh, when you have a personal relationship with that, someone, even if it's fleeting, you can't mm -hmm. help but um, worry about them. So mm -hmm. I, I came away a little bit worried about mm -hmm. him. Um, wow. Do you Hollywood what, fame is so fleeting. Yeah. What is the, what is the one lasting image in person that you have of, you know, memory you have of Brendan? What, what, st what sticks with you? Is it, is it the, 
the uh, the 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 dismal performance of the model parliament, or is it? <laughs> no, wanting to fit in with the herd. Yeah, living away from home, missing your parents, and seeking outlets for your creativity, um, such as the uh, UCC Little Theatre, which ended up being far more important to him than we realized at the time. Mm, wonderful. Paul, that's great. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm John DeMond for the Saltwire Network.